Hey guys, welcome back. Adventures Beyond Adversity here. We are at Goofy's Kitchen to celebrate the return of the character dining. Um, so this is not my first time at Goofy's Kitchen, but it has been a very long time. It has been my first, first time. time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how he likes it and we're going to compare it to our recent um, experience over at the um, Storytellers. Storytellers Buffet. And we'll uh, link that so you can see how that went. And so we're hoping that this is a good one. And let's go check it out. This buffet is massive. They have breakfast and non breakfast foods here. Got, here's the breakfast station. It's got like eggs, Tata, Benedict, Cross Browns. Look at that biscuits and gravy. Biscuits are so good. I'm gonna have to try this. It's like really good sauce and gravy. Getting a scoop of that gravy there. Putting it on my biscuits. Not so pretty, but I had to split them somehow. And that's the best I could do. Ham, pork belly, chocolate, chilaquiles. These look a lot better than the chilaquiles over at the Storytellers. The other ones are really soft. has a lot of different pizza options too. Like here we have a cheese pizza, but on the other side it looks like there's a breakfast pizza that I'm going to go check out. Sure enough, that's what it is. And I'm going to give myself a slice of that. I'm going to get a slice of this pizza right here. They also have s'mores and PB&J pizza. Might try it for dessert, I don't know. This is definitely a more kid-friendly buffet with all these creative options. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but they certainly are interested. And uh, get a scoop of mac and cheese, because why not? We're living it up. So I'm back, and I got some breakfast and non-breakfast items. I did get some stuff from the cheese board and the, the meats, and I'm going to split these with Ben. I know he likes cheeses and meats, so these are going to go some of them to him. But we did, like I said, we got the waffle, we got Ben a waffle. I'm gonna try some mac and cheese and the, and the salmon. And I got a slice of that breakfast pizza in there. So far, I've tried the, the lox and bagel. Not as good as Storytellers. The bagel is definitely really hard, but the, the lox are pretty good. That pizza, very good. Macaroni and cheese, good. It's pretty, I haven't tried the waffle yet because I'm waiting to dump the syrup on the plate until last. And I know, I think Ben, you've tried yours. I tried mine. You done your plate I, and almost except much, for you got your chicken finger, I got chicken left. finger left yeah how was the waffle better than storyteller yeah because that one was really hard all the way through yeah th this one wasn't even without without the uh, butter yeah. syrup yeah okay so i have high hopes well don't get don't get uh, don't let them get too high <laughs> okay well we'll find out <laughs> we'll find out so we went and we dumped our syrup on there and we cut into the mickey waffle and we're done then I'm gonna try this. It's all right. It's definitely softer than than it, the other at Storytellers for sure on the inside. It's easier to cut. So I do have high hopes. Ben says not to get them too high. But we're gonna... Okay, so the waffle. 
It's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's, per it's perfect. I mean, it's not like a 10 out of 10 because it's like made in a batch, you know. I've had them at um, Carnation Cafe, you know, and then they're making them fresh for you and they're and it's a little warmer and better, but much better than Storytellers. So for me, it's Goofy's Kitchen hands down is better of the two. What do you think? Yes, yeah. I, agree. I agree. Yeah, so far this has just been a much more pleasant experience, much more worth the money. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. Goofy. While we were over here at the Disneyland Hotel for Goofy's Kitchen, we had to come over here and check out the decorating that they're doing in the hotel itself for Halloween. You got the High Mansion spooky music and the tombstones right there. And over here, you got the stretching room portraits and gargoyles. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of when we came for the High Mansion tea for Halloween a couple of years ago before they got rid of Steakhouse 55. Yeah. That's so fun. I wish that they hadn't gotten rid of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what goes, what they put back in there. Yeah. And look at that. You got Phineas and Ezra and Gus welcoming you into the elevators. Room for one more. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And here's the cemetery scene from the outside of the hotel. So this is what welcomes you into the Disneyland Hotel right now for uh, the spooky Halloween season. We're back. We're full? Yeah, full. Very full and happy. I'd say a lot happier than our storytellers experience and we'll link that. It's a better experience overall for us mm -hmm. with, with this. Yeah, um, better, I think better overall everything, better food for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing that I had that wasn't as good as Storytellers was the lox and bagel because the bagel was pretty hard, um, too, way too hard here at uh, Goofy's Kitchen. Everything else that I had was good. Everything I had was good. Loved the sausage. Mm -hmm. um, scrambled eggs were still a little, a little bit runny. But he's picky about his eggs, so. I have, I'm a connoisseur of scrambled eggs. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, I, I would love to try more. I mean, I, I'd say that we didn't come as hungry as we could have been because, I mean, we only, I only, for myself, I know I only tried a couple of things. Mm -hmm. But the Mickey waffle was, was good. very good. And if you saw our other video at Storytellers, that was a big disappointment. So so that was a win. Um, the character interaction was really good. Uh, if you don't like Cowbell, it might be a little annoying for you at, at Goofy's Kitchen. Because that seems to be how they celebrate birthdays. Lots of cowbell. Lots of cowbell. Lots of cowbell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still no Donald, though. No Donald. No Mickey. No Mickey, which is fine. Which it was Gooby's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, $59, so it is pricey for adults. $59, $39 for kids, but it was good. And I, th I feel like we got a good value out of it. Yeah. Um, would love to go back. So we hope that this helps you make helps. a good decision. Yeah. 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 It's good. Mm -hmm. I go back. Maybe, so, maybe soon. Hopefully, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you yeah. like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, subscribe so that you uh, are following us for our next adventure. Remember, adventure is out there. <laughs>